Hi, uh, let's see how to create a connection to the existing admin server. So this is a fresh installation of FibLogic Remote Console 2.4.14, which was the latest I downloaded from the Oracle website. So you can select the first option that is add admin server connection provider. You can give it any name. Okay, we'll just give you something like uh, WebLogic and username is obviously I selected WebLogic while installation and the password what you have used. Okay, so we can use it over here. The local host, okay, this is the address what I have selected because we are not going to use SSL and make the insecure connection in case if you want you can just select that one okay press ok so it's create a connection now this is the initial view once after you log in successfully to the weblogic admin server make sure that you have started the weblogic admin server already as you're going to have an issue so the edit tree okay so this is the uh, usual view and you can go and click on the edit tree then it will load all the things what you you've been familiar with the web console where you used to do all your activities related to the console part okay now i don't know uh, really like why exactly oracle has changed that approach and brought up uh, another software which is so confusing for a beginner so you can just go uh, click on environment then uh, the same stuff what you used to see for total C you can see over here that's a domain you click on domain then you can come over here security okay just click on security the rest of the things uh, as, as earlier we used to do the steps like um, advanced fields instead of locking the steps you can just come over here and change it I think here configuration v3 okay so you can just click on it it will go back and you can keep on changing the steps over there so i have made many things over there like a servers here you can come and then one second you can just click over here runtime data you can select then it will show you all the controls for starting and stopping the servers so obviously this is not something you know it's it's very easy like the previous ones okay where you can just go log the things and come and change the status of uh, services here you have to uh, really spend some time to understand the console how it works okay once you learn that one okay it's going to be as easy as the previous ones but still uh, the enterprise manager is obviously it's uh, still on web based and uh, the console part they have uh, brought up this software in between uh, i really don't understand why Oracle is doing that one so just to see like i will just try to demonstrate how exactly you can start the services so click it and click the start button nothing new the same thing and here it's actually it start bouncing until the service has a starter or for a while i'm not sure like i was not very careful last time to see whether it keeps on bouncing until the services are started okay so the basically this is it okay now you can go and change uh, many factors okay, many parameters okay, as mentioned within the uh, post okay you have to change the node manager name and you have to the password and there are many things actually I have explained to it okay so you can do all those kind of activities using this menus what is available over here and uh, I think you should be having some kind of hands-on so that you will understand this console for the future use. So I'm not going deep into that one, explaining how exactly you can change each and every other thing. Find it yourself so that you learn some few things will get hammered into your memory so that you can use it tomorrow also. Thank you.